How we doing, everybody? This is That Our Nerd coming at you with the piping of Dplyr. <laughs> and, uh, and this is honestly the coolest part. This, this here is incredible. So if you haven't seen the, the five verbs that we've gone through, um, you, can, you can click on the other videos and go, go watch those as well. Um, but what we're going to do here is uh, we're basically going to mod podge all these together and put them in something called, called pipes. Uh, so normally what, what used to happen, I guess, is you'd say something like, I want to do this one, right? I want to select these. And we have to save it again. And normally we just save it as something new, right? So iris1, we want to select from iris without the sepal width and then the species, right? And so now we have a new variable and, and it's slightly lower, right? And then we'll say in iris2, we want to do this thing. We want to filter uh, iris1, where species is equal to setosa and sepal length is greater than 5. And it's not found because I got rid of it. So let's not get rid of species this time. All right, so now species is setosa and we're filtering with, uh, with sepal length greater than five, right? And so we have to go through all these steps, step by step by step, all the way down, save a ton of variables and stuff, and it gets messy. And uh, a better way to do it is by using what they call the pipes. And so what you do is you say iris percent greater than percent, right? This is, this is the pipe. And so what this is doing is this is feeding the iris data set into whatever verb that we want to do here. So let's do select. And now because it, it's already piping it in, we already know that it's the iris data set. We don't have to re-put iris data set here, right? If that makes sense. All we have to do is say, um, we want everything except for sepal width, right? And that does the same thing as, as what it did before. Uh, where we, we filter or we select without the sepal width, right? We're getting rid of that variable there. Um, so that's the same, except for now you can pipe it again. So now we, we have this new data set, um, and we're going to pipe it into our filter statement. So we're going to filter where species is equal to setosa or sepal length. Let's go and here actually, and sepal length is greater than five, right? So now we're taking the iris data set, we're getting rid of sepal width, and we're filtering uh, where species is equal to septosa and sepal length is greater than five, right? So now in one step, we've done it, and we haven't even had to rename a new variable or, or anything like that, right? So then we can arrange, if you want to do that, and let's arrange by descending, right? So descending means we're going biggest to smallest. We want to arrange descending. Um, let's go with pedal length, right? And so now we've gone through, we've selected everything but sepal width. We filtered where it's equal to setosa and it's greater than five with the sepal length, and we've arranged we've sorted our data by uh, biggest to smallest with pedal length, right? And you can even go through and do a mutate on here. Uh, we wanna mutate, we wanna make a new variable. We'll just do the same variable that we had up here, uh, which I think I got rid of it, so we'll just retype it. Let's say we wanna know uh, how much bigger the pedal length is than the pedal width. So we'd say we want our new variable to be pedal difference, right? And so we're naming this new variable and we're setting it equal to pedal length minus pedal width, right? And so now we have a, a data set where we've gotten rid of sepal width, uh, species is setosa, sepal length is greater than five. Uh, we, we're arranging by biggest to smallest pedal length and we've made a new variable, which is our pedal diff, which is the difference between the length and the width of our variable. <sighs> How cool is that? That there is incredible.
That's amazing. Um, so yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you have any requests for future things you want to learn in R, make sure to leave a comment down there. Uh, like the video if you found it helpful. Subscribe if you want to see more videos. And have a great day. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I hope it was helpful for you.